we down to clown baby welcome back to trailheads this is day one building the bunker <laughs> Okay, this is a potential site where the creek veers close to the trail. And I thought about going up there, but it's not steep enough to do what I want to do. Over here is, it goes, it starts here and goes up. And this is not private property. So this is a potential site, but we're going to move down the trail a little bit further because the topography looks more favorable and see what we got down there. We might come back here. I don't know yet. Okay, so we're not all the way to the point that I just spoke about, but we hit this spot a little bit sooner. So the trail's down there. Here's a creek. You come up the hill. There's a deer trail here and here, if you can see it. And this is absolutely a beautiful spot to build the new bunker. All right, so this was the spot that looked optimal on the map. And now that I'm down here, it's proving not to be. Okay, so I wanted to do it up on the top of this hill, build a bunker up there, but it's too steep and you can't get to it without getting ate up by all these thorns and brush that you see here. So I do think, and this uh, standing water is not gonna be too fun in the summertime. That's Mosquito City right there. I do think we shall head back to the previous position with the deer trails on the hill because it was a lot more favorable. This is a little bit unhospitable as far as, you know, being friendly enough to build a bunker easily. Now, maybe during wartime or something, this would be optimal because you don't want the enemy to have easy access to you. Especially up here in Highland County, there ain't really much up here, but, it's pretty nice. It is beautiful here. But yeah, in the wintertime, I don't want to be crossing that creek. The, the It was easier crossing back at the other spot. And also at the other spot, there was a lot more uh, deadfall pine that would be good for to use as building material. I mean, yeah, hardwood is preferable, but there's plenty of pine and there's nothing wrong with using pine. It's just a softer wood. And around here, there's just not a whole bunch of, I mean, there's deadfall, but it doesn't look very usable. Okay, it's pop quiz time here on Trailheads. What is the one thing you can find in the woods every time? Every single time you go into any set of woods or forest here in the U.S., what are you going to find? This bullcrap right here, a tire. I don't know why. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Who comes all the way out here just to get rid of one single tire? Sam thinks it's cool though. I don't. I don't really like seeing trash and litter out here in the woods. So we're going to eventually take that tire back with us. Not today though. Yeah, here's the uh, deadfall pine I was talking about earlier. And looking at it now, it's kind of soft. There's a bunch up there too. A lot. Anyways. I'm gonna cut this big one right here so I can make like a ledge and start making the ground level. All right, now, this is gonna be the edge of the opening. I'm gonna dig back into here and make some type of covering or door to where you can't even see that it's a shelter of any type. So here's the lip and it's gonna go level from here back. Now I just gotta get a, make a couple stakes to put in the ground, keep it from moving while I'm working.
Well guys, this is gonna be the end of day one. We got the site cleared and leveled off. Got a nice place to sit right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is gonna be similar to the last shelter that I built, um, if you remember it. So what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna put two posts right here in the front and a post across the top. And then back here, I'm gonna put another post and then make the, make the outside roof. And I'm going to lean them all on here and on that post to make a roof. I'm going to try to put some dirt around the sides to try to keep water out when it rains. And this right here is going to be a nice flat wall that can start forming the front door. So you're going to come up into the front of it and then go in. I might even block up the sides to where you can't see out the sides or whatever or in. That way it'll be more camouflaged. And the front... I might just put like a door or something on the front to keep it camouflaged and to where nobody can see it from the trail. I can't see the trail from here, but that doesn't mean somebody can't see me. So that's the goal is to make everything camouflaged and undetectable. My tea is boiling now. This is mint, rose petals, and I put two cloves in there. And it's boiling now, so this is going to be really good. Stop. Stay. He's scared of the fire and whatnot. And weird noises. Even though he makes weird noises all the time. Now I put two ounces of alcohol in this stove and that's about all you need for one cup of tea and it's already starting to die down. There's not much left in there. It's good to warm up your hands with. Yeah, there's a lot of nice dead fall around here. This one would be pretty good to use as the post or the roof. I need to bring my draw knife so I can take all the bark off these trees. So they'll last longer. Yeah, but all these up here are dead fall. Hopefully they're strong enough to use because I'm not cutting down any trees. Besides, I don't want people to see stumps and be like, oh, I wonder if somebody's been up there. You know, so people see stumps and they know that a human did it. Okay, I'm only like 30 feet from the site and you can't even tell, you can't even see it. brought my drone and I didn't even use it I did use my drone on this trail in the last video but it's uh really tight in here as far as tree branches and angles and shots and stuff go so I left my tools at the site I hid them as best I could but this is why it's because this trail is really rough even to get a wagon up and down ah crap
So I've decided to go with bamboo. And no, I'm not using primitive tools, obviously. I'm going to uh, cut them into lengths. These are six-foot sections. And I'm going to try to put as much of the roof together here as I can and then carry it to the site. Got the fire over there burning scraps. Here's a nice apple cider to toast the success of the shelter. Ah, nothing like a good crisp apple cider on a nice cool fall day. Day three of building the shelter. I don't honestly I don't even know. I've lost count because I've been doing so much work in between going out into the woods. But here we go. Lead the way, Sam, lead the way. Get in front, go. You know, I'm really not too fond of this trail already. Same thing as he's slick. He already went up to the site without me, ahead of me, because he remembers where it was at. <sighs> What's up, buddy? Oh, wow. Doesn't look like anybody's been up here, so that's good. Well, I did bring a bam load of bamboo up here just because I was heading this way, but I think today is going to be focused on lowering the ground here so this back wall is more pronounced because that's what's going to be the door to the tunnel that goes into the hillside i present you with a stick good job eat it <laughs> well this morning there was no rain in the forecast and then all of a sudden here at about 1 p.m there's about 80 percent chance of rain so we're going to head back before we get soaked um, the good news is we did make pro quite a bit of progress um, digging today, and we also brought up a load of bamboo, so that's good as well. Day four, building the shelter, I'm bringing down my second load of bamboo. I'm actually out. I'll have to go cut some more. All right, so here's the progress that I made yesterday. I put some more logs down, and these will be formed into steps leading up to the shelter. And here it is. I did dig down some, but I also dug back into the wall. I said it needs to be more pronounced. So today, I'm not gonna bore you with time-lapse video of me digging, but that's pretty much what today's gonna be. I need to dig as much as I can before I put the roof on because I can't really heft a pickaxe <sighs> once I have a roof on this and you'll see why when I'm done okay so what I'm doing now this is a line right here actually right where the shadow is this is going to be the square all right so I'm going to go down I'm going down right now and this front part from here to the lip is going to be angled downward to keep water out but we're on a hillside so we don't have too much worry but I'd rather err on the side of caution. Anyways, I want to go down until I can stand in this hole and my head is going to be right about here. As you can see, my thigh is right about there now. So I got quite a ways to go. I got about, got to go down about four feet. Now, once I go down four feet, this is going to be, this back wall is going to be nice and flat. That's the plan anyways. Then I'm going to make a little arching doorway, make it dome shaped. That way there's less chance of a cave in and go straight back. And then I'll figure out what, if I want to make rooms or, you know, what type of indwelling I'm going to make in there. That way I can camp out here. And hunters are welcome to camp out here when they're out here hunting deer on National Forest. Anyways.
Well, guys, we got a little bit more than a half a foot today. I don't know, maybe eight or ten inches, almost a foot. But busting through this rock and clay is really tough work. And actually using the pickaxe isn't that bad, but it's just hefting all this dirt out of here. I mean, this, this is not even a foot, and it's probably already like 500 pounds of dirt, I'm guessing. I don't know. But it's definitely enough to make you sweat and strengthen your lower back. <laughs> and I'm just imagining once this is completed, I'm going to put a log across here to keep it in place and not be falling down all the time. I could just imagine looking out here, popping out of the hole in the winter time, all this covered in snow, and I'm nice and warm in the bunker, camping out. All right, so here's my plan on how I'm going to finish this bunker. So I've dug down, right? And then it comes this way about three feet and then up about 10 inches and then about another two and a half feet. So here's the hill that goes up and this is like steps right here almost. I haven't really leveled them out yet. But anyway, so what I'm going to do, here's the projected um, development. I'm gonna do dotted lines. So this is going to be this is going to be six feet, about six, maybe five. I don't know. But I'm going to dig down like this. That way you come up and you jump down in this hole. And then I'm going to dig this way. that way like that so it's going to go that way now all the tunnels are going to be shaped like this so that way it's rounded off at the top and that's less of a chance for a cave-in or more stuff falling down you don't want a flat ceiling on the inside and also it's going to go back like this and then maybe widen out to a big room back here also with a dome ceiling look at the donkey back there trotting along like a little burrow Sam your little mule Sam Muell <laughs> well, I'm gonna pack it up and call it a day but guys I appreciate you watching and I hope I piqued your interest enough to subscribe that way you can see how this turns out. I think it's going to be pretty cool. It's, I'll be honest, it's like a little daydream I had when I was a kid. But now that I'm an adult, I can actually have the means to fulfill those ideas. So anyways, again, thanks for watching, guys. And remember, take nothing but photos and leave nothing but footprints. Trailheads out, baby.